It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Okay, it's that time of year and I am feeling the Christmas spirit. I know it's a little bit early. You guys will be seeing it right after Thanksgiving, but I'm decorating before Thanksgiving because my heart needs it. I was looking at some videos and photos of last year's Christmas and I was like, I, I'm feeling it. I wanna be all cozy with my Christmas decor and my Christmas movies and my Christmas PJs and the sun is setting, so I thought, I love to decorate at night. I love it. So let's start decorating. Let's get in the festive vibes. All right, so I just got out my boxes. We gotta open them up and see what's inside. I got a lot of Christmas stuff last year for Christmas gifts and I haven't seen them in a while. So I'm really excited to see some treasures that I didn't use last year, but I can use for this year. <laughs> two bins. All right, let's see what I got. Oh, yes, I forgot. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. My stockings. So exciting. Also, I wanted to mention my bestie Brandy and I, we are decorating at the same time and we'll be posting this video at the same time because we're doing somewhat of a collab together and I'm really excited because I just love her videos. They're really real, relatable. She's a mom and for some of you who can't relate with that with me because I'm not a mom, you might wanna see some more of that kind of content. Definitely go check her channel out. It's essentially B, see how she's decorating for Christmas, what food she likes to make. I know she makes like specific traditional treat. She's very specific with it. And it's just always fun to watch more Christmas content and see what other people are doing. So that would be fun for us to do it together because she loves Christmas as much as I do. Head over there after this video. I will link her down in the description box and let's continue with the vid. Fireplace on. One of my favorite Christmas candles is lit. Of course, it's top priority to play some Christmas tunes while you're decorating. Instead of using my usual playlist, I thought I would break out this awesome record I found at one of the record stores around here. And it's not working. Okay, we're off to a great start here. Tis the season. <laughs> Let's set the tone. Let's set the mood and put a little Michael Buble Christmas album on because it's an absolute Classic. So I have to wipe down all of my surface areas and I use the Thieves Young Living Cleaner because it smells like Christmas and it's a clean, non-toxic brand. So just wanna make sure I get all the dust and grime up and then we're going to start placing the decor. Okay, the sun is really setting and I'm getting this like golden hour. It's time, baby, it's time. I can't stop dancing. I just feel so happy that I'm decorating for Christmas. All right, let's get to business. So the first thing I have to do is take down this floral print because I don't need anything floral or remind me of spring or summer in my house. I'm the type of person that I will switch out a picture, whatever I need to, to get the overall aesthetic of Christmas spirit or any holiday that I'm going for. So let's cue the time lapse and let's get all this stuff down so we can put all the Christmas stuff up. So I gathered the items that I kind of remembered were over on this console table. I kind of like to make this like a wintry wonderland theme. And I do have a Christmas tree that I have to bring out. It's a mini one that will go right there. But for the meantime, I'll put these where I remember them going and then we'll go grab the tree and just kind of work around it. I remember this cute little sign, have yourself a merry little Christmas was right up here against the mirror. I guess I don't have to like mimic exactly what I did from last year, but I really liked what I did last year. And I'm just working with the space that I have and the storage that I have. So I just try to reuse things and repurpose them as much as possible. And then these little snowflakes go up here and they dangle from these hooks that were, or the nails, that were already there from the portrait. I use the nails just so I can make sure they're utilized and not just punched into the wall for no reason. Climb down the chimney at the speed of light While we're 
dancing around the Christmas tree Hugging and kissing just you and me Carolers are singing outside our door I thought we would take a little hot chocolate break and have a little chit chat. I just put some cocoa powder from Trader Joe's, the peppermint, and then the sipping chocolate in here as well with some oat milk. And I'm just kind of stirring it all together. This is kind of my go-to, but I want to make a whole entire video dedicated to three ways to make hot chocolate. So definitely subscribe if you're looking for more Christmas content because I have so much planned out for you guys. I'm gonna keep whisking away my hot cocoa and then pour myself a cup and top it with some marshmallows and I'll meet you guys in the living room. Okay, so I got my cozy cup of cocoa, so let's chit chat really quickly. I hope that this video is motivating you to get your Christmas decorations up, even though it's been a really crappy year. There's something about decorating and just having something different in your home that just really fills my heart and makes me have more faith. And so obviously Christmas is a faith-based holiday. And some of you might be watching and don't celebrate Christmas, but I have a lot of Jewish friends who actually love Christmas and decorate in their own homes and do all the Christmas activities just because they love what it brings to them. And they don't follow the religious aspect, but they love the other community feeling of what Christmas brings. And so I hope that these videos are motivating you. That's what I want to do throughout this just whole season is just have something for you guys to look forward to and just sit down for like 10, 15, 20 minutes, escape into la la Christmas land. It does not take life so seriously. I can't take myself seriously all the time. It's exhausting. So, and I don't want to be that way. I'm a child at heart and I feel like that is the root of Christmas is being a child and reminding yourself of why you used to love it as you were younger. So, Cheers to you guys, let's keep decorating. And I always do this with my coffee cup. I talk a lot with my hands and I feel like my cocoa, my cocoa, my cocoa is going to splash all over my face and scald me. Oh yes, I also wanna let you know that this video, I'm not gonna put up my main Christmas tree. I'm actually gonna put that up in my next video. We'll decorate it together and I'll do a whole entire Christmas decor tour of my apartment. So the things you're seeing now, I'm just putting up here and there. I'm putting up the majority of it but I still want you guys to have another fun festive cozy video to look forward to and I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos that are just them putting up their Christmas tree decorations and I've enjoyed that as a separate video so I thought this year we would do the same thing and I would just add it into my Christmas decor tour and you can grab your cocoa and enjoy the next video don't spill the cocoa on your face Christmas baby please come home let's keep decorating on my shelf up here above my TV I have the these beautiful candlesticks and I got these beautiful snowflakes and this little adorable owl like it almost seems so real and fluffy I love fluffy things and I like to display them on my shelf here um sometimes I just play around with it last year I really liked how it ended up I think the owl went right here and he's just kind of perched on the candlestick I got these items from chartreuse back at home it's a cute little store um hold on i need to focus here so i'll just display these snowflakes throughout and just play around with it doesn't have to be perfect just however you want it these snowflakes are metal little christmas asmr for you and they're super sharp so i don't really want to hang them you can hang them from the tree or anywhere else like i did with the other snowflakes but i thought they would be really lovely just placed up against something and I love how they turned out so let me finish this while I was scrolling through Instagram I came across this photo and I just thought it was so cute and that it looked a lot like the way my bed is set up and so I went and got inspiration from the photo and tried to pick up some things that reminded me of it so I got this wreath that actually I didn't get it I already had it which was amazing because I couldn't find a wreath that I really liked so I found a piece of ribbon and I tied it there and then this is the pillow that has the missing pom-pom but I really loved it so what I'm gonna do is just switch out the pom-poms and on like this side and the side that's missing right here and just put a different color like a red or a white and keep the other two that way I don't have to exchange it and still be able to enjoy it and this looks like it needs to be trimmed but I just love the peppermint candy stitching around it and then I had this blanket that usually goes over my couch but I do love using this as like a pop of color on my couch so 
may, do I get a new blanket? I don't have space for having three Christmas blankets. That's kind of excessive. And I don't really decorate throughout the year with the color red besides Christmas time. I picked this one up as you guys saw in my Christmas decor haul. I love it. It's so soft and I can't wait to see how that looks layered. I put my hair back so that it's out of my face. Now let's see what I can do with this bed area. <laughs> not super Christmas cozy. I mean, I'm ready to get into bed. Actually, I don't want to get into bed because I don't want to mess up how cute this looks. This was excessive, I'm aware, but I can't help it. I think that just really brought the whole bed together. Obviously not sleeping like that, but love the wreath. The wreath was a great choice. I did not do that last year. The bulky ho-ho-ho pillow is a must. I'm glad I'm going to figure that little pom-pom situation out. And love this layering combo. So this blanket will just have to go back and forth from the couch to the bed, but I love how this turned out. It's making me so, so happy. And really, it, I didn't have to buy much for it. I need to do this to the pillows. That's what I see all the HGTV decor shows do. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Whoa, almost just tripped over my tripod. Oh yeah, that just took it up a notch. Okay, cute. Actually, one thing that I do think would look really nice is a little bit of garland above with some twinkle lights. So I'm gonna have to go pick that up. Stay tuned for the decor tour because then you'll really see the full effect. But so far, super cute. stockings are hung. I love the way this turned out. It's so freaking cute. I do think that we need a little bit more height overall, like maybe a mirror or gold mirror or something like that, but not on my budget this year. So I will add that to my Christmas want list for 2021. In my opinion, every home needs a mistletoe and I found this really cute one at a place called Chartreuse that I got my other decorations from and the command hook is still there from last year, so I'm so short. Short girl props, I think I can get it though. There we go. Ryan, come and give me a smooch. <laughs>
you guys. I think this is it for this video. We have decorated. I still have a little bit more decorating to do, but you'll see the final touches in my next video, which is going to be, I think instead of just a Christmas tree decoration, I kind of want to do like a cozy day in the life. So we'll decorate. We'll do some other cozy Christmas things. Um, we'll make maybe, ooh, we'll make my Christmas decorating soup because I'll be decorating the tree, so we'll make that. We'll just make it a full day of really great Christmas coziness. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this, got some motivation from it. I hope you guys are inspired to start like watching and binging all of the Christmas movies. I do have a Very Kaylee Christmas movie club, so definitely go to my Instagram and check that out. I will put that in my Christmas highlights, and we can be watching Christmas movies all month long. I'm so excited that it's December. It's my favorite time of year and I'm really just trying to soak it all in because it goes so quickly and then I'm like genuinely depressed when it's over. So I don't need that this year. We've had enough depression within the year that I just need it to slow down a smidge. So I think me recording a lot of these videos and having them ready to post and just like living in the moment um, is gonna be really nice. A lot of the time I still will be doing vlogmas and stuff like that, which will be more real time. All right, well, subscribe to my channel if you want. I would really appreciate that and like this video if you can't wait to see more Christmas content. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.